MMA fighting here with Hannah Cyphers ahead of her fight with Jody Escobel at UFC 241 on Saturday. Now, Hannah, second straight big pay-per-view card for you. Is this process getting any easier, like the fight week, doing the media days, the face-offs in front of all the cameras? Is is this? Are you getting used to it at all? Yeah, it's, it's definitely getting easier than the first time. I so much better. Now it's all, you only debuted back in November and it was a short notice fight. And then you had, a, the, like I said, a big a fight on a big card and now a third fight on another big card. Is this the type of fight, like schedule that you want? Like you're, you've been very active since you debuted. I would like to stay active. I mean, I guess in like a goal, I'd like to fight at least four times a year, maybe more. Are you, are you the type of fighter that plans out who they want to fight next, or you just take whatever they give you? No, I just, I work for them, so whoever, they, whoever the UFC says is fine. Are you the type of fighter that wants to fight specific places, or do you just want to fight wherever, whenever? Um, I'm not really picky, so you know, whatever they decide, I'll... Well, the only reason I ask these type of questions is because people seem genuinely interested in what you have to say. There's maybe a little mystique about you because you don't do a lot of media. When you do do media, you don't, they just want to learn more about you. Are you re learning this that fans are interested in you, actually, besides the fighting? Mm -hmm. I guess so. I'm going I'm to get, I'm get better at it. It's sure, sure. Like, it's the process. Now you are fighting Jody Esquivel. She's been in a, she's been around for a long time. She's had a lot of boxing matches. She's had a lot of MMA fights. Do you remember your first memory of Jody? Now she's fought a lot in Invicta. And do you remember how like do you, she's obviously on a three fight losing streak, but she's won in the past before. Are there any performances that you've seen from her that have really impressed you? Yeah, I watched some. Of, I've seen some of her Invicta fights when Invicta first came out. So I mean, I've been watching her for a while because I like to watch like the smaller girls fight. Cause yeah. it's, and like I said, she is on a three-fight losing skid. She hasn't, she hasn't even won in the UFC yet. When we spoke to her, she kind of seemed to have this, this sense of, um, like, the pressure is not on her because, like, she's, she's lost so many times. Is that a dangerous opponent to have where she doesn't really have anything to lose outside of her actually just trying to win? Um, I think so, but she's also, I don't know if she's on a three-fight losing streak in the UFC, but she's also lost a really tough op opponents, like high-level girls. So I don't view that as being... Like, she's not a dangerous opponent to fight. So. Where she's obviously, well, like we said, a lot of boxing, a lot of boxing matches in her career. Is there anywhere else that she shines that you've seen from her past fights that you can maybe take advantage of, or shines, or she has holes that you can take advantage of? Um, I don't know. Um, I like to think she's. I mean, I'm sure she like she comes from a good camp, so I'm pretty sure she has a well round, well rounded game, and I don't want to take that for granted. And then before your last fight, you did post a picture with John Jones. Uh, you, you seem to like you 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 kind of look up to him as a fighter and stuff like that. That's what I gathered. I don't want to put words in your mouth. But is there any, any fighters that you've run into this fight week that maybe you were a little Star Trek seeing? Maybe you were a big fan of them growing up. Yeah, um, I got to see um, you know, like Cormier and Anthony Pettis and stuff. I love, I love watching them fight. So it's been it's pretty it's really neat to get to see them in person. Yeah. And your last fight, you broke your arm, correct? And you wanted to stick around and watch the rest of the card. Yes, I broke it in the first round. So is it is, is it all you all good now? Like, sir, did you, did you have to go under through surgery? Or was it just a normal bro broken arm cast everything? I had to go through surgery. I went through it the week after we got home. But well, you're all good. You just want. Hopefully, you don't break your arm again, but you can stick around and watch the rest of the fights, right? Yes, sir. Hopefully. Well, thank you so much. And good luck on Saturday. I appreciate you.